Today, we're diving deep into one of the most debated topics in the world of soilless agriculture. Hydroponics versus aquaponics. Which one is better? Which one suits your needs? And more importantly, which one is future-proof? Grab a cup of coffee or your notebook. This is going to be a detailed, eye-opening journey into two revolutionary farming techniques. Before we compare them, let's understand the basics. Both hydroponics and aquaponics are soilless farming systems that focus on growing crops with water, nutrients, and controlled environments. But their sources of nutrients, complexity, cost, and sustainability set them apart. Hydroponics is the science of growing plants directly in a nutrient-rich water solution without the use of soil. Instead of soil, plants are anchored using inert growing media like coca peat, pellet, hydroton, or rock wool. There are several hydroponic systems, including NFT, nutrient film technique, DWC, deep water culture, ebb and flow, flood and drain, drip system, aeroponics, mist-based variant. Nutrients are added manually or through automated dosing systems, ensuring that plants receive an optimized mix of macronutrients and micronutrients. Aquaponics is a hybrid farming method that combines aquaculture, raising fish, with hydroponics. Here's how it works. Fish are kept in a tank where they produce waste, primarily ammonia. Nitrifying bacteria convert ammonia into nitrites, then into nitrates, which are nutrients for plants. The plants absorb these nutrients and clean the water, which is then recirculated back to the fish tanks. It's a symbiotic ecosystem that mimics nature and requires biological balance, not just technical precision. Let's break it down side by side, hydroponics versus aquaponics, and compare them across the most important factors. First up, nutrient source. In hydroponics, plants get their nutrition from a solution of pre-mixed nutrients that we add manually or automatically. These are carefully formulated to give plants everything they need. In aquaponics, the nutrients come from fish waste. As fish release ammonia into the water, beneficial bacteria convert it into nitrates, which are then absorbed by the plants. It's a natural biological cycle. Now let's talk startup cost. Hydroponic systems can range from simple to sophisticated, but generally they're less expensive to set up than aquaponics. Aquaponic systems need tanks, pumps, filters, and live fish, which increases the complexity and cost. Moving on to maintenance, hydroponics requires monitoring of pH, EC, and nutrient levels, but it's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. Aquaponics, however, demands a lot more attention. You're not just growing plants, you're managing an ecosystem. You need to keep the fish healthy, maintain water quality, balance bacteria populations, and monitor temperature. How about system complexity? Hydroponics is mostly mechanical, water, pumps, nutrients. It's relatively easier to automate and control. Aquaponics, on the other hand, is biologically complex. You're managing plants, fish, and bacteria, three living systems that must stay in harmony. When it comes to water usage, aquaponics has the upper hand. Because it's a fully recirculating ecosystem, it uses even less water than hydroponics, which is already water efficient. Now, yield speed. Hydroponics usually gives faster early growth because the nutrient mix is always precise and readily available. Aquaponics might take a bit longer to stabilize, but once it does, it can produce consistent yields over time. Plus, you're getting fish as a second product. For beginners, hydroponics is more forgiving and easier to learn. Aquaponics has a steeper learning curve and losing fish can crash the system. Finally, consider marketability. Hydroponics is widely used in commercial vertical farms and urban setups. It's tried, tested, and profitable. Aquaponics is a niche, but it's gaining popularity among eco-conscious consumers, educational institutions, and sustainable living advocates. 
So there you have it, a clear practical comparison of hydroponics and aquaponics. Each system has its own strengths and challenges. The best choice depends on your goals, your budget, and how deep you want to go into the science of growing. So now the big question, which one is better for you? Choose hydroponics if you want faster results and easier management. Your focus is on commercial plant production. You want to grow indoors or in urban spaces with limited access to resources. You don't want to manage live animals. Choose aquaponics if you're eco-conscious and value sustainable ecosystems. You want a holistic, closed-loop system. You enjoy biology, microbiology, and fish care. You're planning a permaculture or homestead-style project. Hydroponics is dominating urban vertical farming, controlled environment agriculture, and commercial leafy green production in cities like Dubai, New York, and Singapore. Aquaponics, on the other hand, is gaining traction in educational setups, eco-villages, homesteads, and sustainability-focused farms. Countries like Australia, the Netherlands, and the US are investing in aquaponics as a climate-resilient model for future food systems. Both hydroponics and aquaponics are not just farming techniques, they're tools for reshaping the future of food. So, whether you're a backyard grower, an urban farmer, or a startup aiming to change the agri-tech game, choose the method that fits your vision, resources, and values. Let me know in the comments, which one are you excited to try, or are you already using one? I'd love to hear about your journey.